stream yard which no one is on <laughs> now let me see if i can get it to connect to youtube let's see if we can break five people this time <laughs> that would be nice no way i was one of them for a bet yeah. oh, yeah, oh bro, god <laughs> i was listening to you it was the worst <laughs> Yeah, I never go. If I'm on like a, if I'm interviewed or something, I never go back and listen to it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I can't handle. Never it. existed. Yeah. All right. All Where right. Is so it? I, oh, there it is. There it is. Is, it work, is it working on YouTube? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh yeah, we're live. Okay. I believe so. Anyway, welcome everyone <laughs> to our new show that we're trying to make happen. Uh, we are, well, first of all, um, this is Renee Delise, writer and artist of Legend of Wonder Woman, and my wife, I'm a lucky man, Brent Ingstrom, the painter of Garbage Pail Kids, and my BFF, I'm a lucky man. And <laughs> he's my special BFF, guest too. Guest. Yeah. More, no, mine. <laughs> so, and tonight we're trying to do a new show where it's just sort of a quick show. We're going to review a little bit of artwork. We're going to talk about some fun stuff, comics related stuff, maybe a little bit of news that's comic related, and uh, just kind of hang out and have a good time with our good, good friend, Brent Extra. Very happy to have him here. All right, let's get the Hello, link Brent. down here. Here's the live. You, you, did you tweet it out already? No. <laughs> oh, now I'm hearing myself repeat it on the stream. Hold on. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, where'd Renee go? Now we lost Renee already. That happened what? last night too. Where'd you go? Come I was trying to tweet. I'm on an iPad, so it closes everything. Come I here. see we have two people watching already. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> Feel free to comment in the chat, and we'll uh, review any questions, respond to any questions while we're reviewing art. Oh, well, first of all, since you're here. Make sure to subscribe and like all those things, and let's get into it. We we are both excited about the uh, casting of Lois Lane. Have you seen that? Mm -mm. Are Are you familiar with uh, Mrs. Maisel? Have you watched that show? Uh, no, I'm familiar with it though. Yeah, mm -hmm. really good show. Really good actress, and she got cast as Lois Lane, which is one of the to us that seems like a perfect fit for the for the role. We're pretty excited. Yeah. About that. I love her. <laughs> She's so great. Superman. Mm -hmm. uh, you saw the new movie. Superman, yeah. I saw who they I, picked. But... Yeah, I I don't know that actor. Sorry, I'm fixing my camera now. I don't know that actor, but I think that's a good thing probably because he's like an unknown. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, he's an unknown actor, and yeah. that's a big part of what made Christopher Reeve good. Yeah. Um, but and he kind of looks like uh, Henry Cavill a little bit, which is good. Yeah, like chiseled jaw fellow. <laughs> <laughs> Henry Cavill yeah, Jr. Uh, Henry Cavill Jr. I'm sure he'd appreciate that too. And he's watching, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just funny, like he's, how. Yeah, you know, he's there watching. was Chris. He's one of the viewers. <laughs> it's just funny how it's like Christopher Reeves and then Superman Returns, you remember? And it was kind of like they yeah. tried to get someone to look like him, but it wasn't him. Yeah, yeah. And then now they have Henry Cavill and they're trying to get someone like Henry Cavill. Right. So, yeah, they kind of are, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, Mm. I kind of like Brent. Uh, I almost said Brent Ingstrom because I'm looking at Brent Ingstrom on here. <laughs> he you know you love player. him already. He, he'd Jeez. be great as Superman. I wish Brent Ingstrom was Superman. I mean, he literally is Superman. Like a sick, a sick looking Superman. We need a <laughs> sick, frail Superman. <laughs> oh, whatever. You're not sick and frail. <laughs> Put me on the dash. You're a handsome, handsome man. All right, so since we have Brent on the show, I feel like I should introduce him a little better with showing some of his work. Hey, yeah, some yeah. of you may be familiar with it already. Garbage Bell Kids. Everybody knows Garbage Bell Kids. And his awesome Instagram is absolutely loaded with them. Oh, I love that. I didn't see that one yet with the, uh, the brain and everything. That's awesome. I remember that one. I remember you working on that one. You were, yeah. Yeah, like trying to get that grid thing going. Yeah, the grid mm -hmm. was the pencil drawing I laid over the top. Oh, uh, wow. That worked out well, yeah. The painting is, the only painted part is the brain and eyeballs and heart. It's a, it's a cool. weird thing. 
<laughs> I could find it's it. It's cool yeah. though. It looks really effective. <laughs> Look at that. Love it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> We were kind of talking about that the other day, like how like you got started at Tops, like it was, it was the same year, right? Like um, 2005 San Diego Comic Con, we all kind of started getting, working at Tops. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Started. With so you've been doing that. it. So you've been doing this for how you know almost 20 years, right? 15, 17, 15 years. How 17. Long has it been? Since 2005, I've been paying. Yeah. Government. Wow. That was a long time. That's mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier, like how we, um, that particular show, we all kind of got jobs at the same time from Tops. Um, Renee and I was I my first Lord one, my first job. Was, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I Lord had another Rings job drawing right. Blood and Roses for Blue Line Pro, you know, the people who make right. the, you know, then, and, and he gave me like um, art supply in exchange, and that was awesome too. But the first paid job was the sketch cards, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. For that's Tops. Yeah, I did that as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just live liked one of your Instagram posts. Well, Ooh. like, what did you do to <laughs> Furby, <love> Brent? <laughs> That's not Furby. Get out of this. Well, How dare you? <laughs> did I what that are you talking about? <laughs> did That's, That's what gremlins. I meant. Mogwai. It is very late. Furby is based on the Mogwai. Hey. Mm -hmm. Look at this gross thing. <laughs> that creeps me out. <laughs> love it. Trypophobia. Right. Look at the, El and the Elvira. The Elvira is awesome. I love Elvira. Mm -hmm. There she is. <laughs> I have that card signed by her. Oh, really? Oh, That's cool. awesome. You got to meet oh, her? Let me make that big screen. I didn't meet her. One of my friends you, met her and had her. Had, can you had show it. that again? I want to see that. <laughs> And oh, cool. Oh, that's... Wow. What's the other one you got signed? Um, Mick Foley, the, the wrestler. I like him. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Mick oh, Foley Mick there. Foley? Yeah, Mankind. Yeah. Why, why are you guys gone? It's just me on here now. <laughs> Cause, oh, yeah. Sorry. I was uh, sharing the art there. There we oh, go. Okay. Now our layout <laughs> changed. Oh, yeah. We were doing this. Here we go. There we go. Hey, and we got George Deep in the chat. Hi, George. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank mm -hmm. you for showing up. How you doing? Uh, George and I did a, a show together recently at a convention. Mm. Nice. Good guy. He also has yeah. drawn some of my characters. It was cool. Let me see if yeah, I can Ray's, find that, Ray's starting to get out to conventions again, <laughs> finally. Mm -hmm. Have you gone yeah. to any, Brent? No, not since... Not since the pandemic. Before the pandemic, I was. But I, mm -hmm. I haven't, do you I haven't ever go to Planet Comic Con? Like, do you set uh, up, you know, before the, you know? I haven't. I mean, it's like right down the street, so I should. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> but I haven't in a while. It's like mm -hmm. kind of, it's a lot bigger than it was. Like, I think it's harder to get a booth and stuff there. Mm -hmm. But. Oh, I love yeah, the ones yeah. we went to. That's where yeah. I saw Jim Lee for the first time, yeah. too. Yeah. And you were like stealing Tyson's luggage, like, because he was just little then, like, in front of Jim Lee. So it looked like some guy, like, trying to take this kid's luggage. What happened? I don't remember that part. Him. You don't remember that? I don't. I remember, like, like Jim Tyson Lee walked the by and was, like, laughing. He's like, stop that. Brett was like, give me that. Give me that luggage. Oh. <laughs> Okay, no, I remember now. Okay, that's hilarious. Give me that. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's no, hilarious. It was, it was awesome. It was a good memory. Good memory. I, I can kind of remember Tyson under the table playing with trains or whatever and like went over Jim Lee's foot and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was in Kansas City. Again. All right, so yeah, we're looking at Brent Engstrom's artwork here. Let's continue. Ninja Turtles. Could be good. Look at that. I love oh, that. I like that. <laughs> All four heads on one body. Awesome. Who's your favorite turtle, Brent? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the party dude. Party dude. That's my favorite. <laughs> Michelangelo. Both love him. Leonardo is the best turtle. 
clearly. What leader? Yeah, he's a leader. He's great. I don't know about best. Look at this. I love this. That's awesome. <laughs> Counting sheep and he's stabbing the sheep. So he he manifested the sheep to murder. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like killing some fluffy sheep. Oh, Beetlejuice down there. Is it? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I've liked like every single one of these. <laughs> I just go up and down and like them all day long. And then I unlike them and like them again. Thank you. Thank you for doing <laughs> Thank you. Well, <laughs> anything for you, Brent. Oh, this so how home. long how long does it take you on average to paint these? Because you hand paint. Uh, yeah, I don't know. know. It's kind of in steps. Like I airbrush them. Just get yeah. Out. Like if you count all the steps, it's like days of work. But it's like I kind of have a system where I do a bunch of them at once. So it's like I don't know. Do you still have the one hairbrush? Or you just have like one. Oh hair? yeah, you just always use the one hairbrush. Camera. Is it right here? <laughs> there it is. Still there. <laughs> the one hair brush. Yeah, I just have a really? stack of those. It's the same brush I ink with. It's like... nice. Are, is it the exact same brush or do you get a new one and like no I have I have tons or... of them. I do have yeah. this one brush I've been inking with for like 60 pages though. Like I'll be really sad when it breaks when it oh, yeah. <laughs> like it's just been this like magic brush I've been using. Yeah. And it's like bright, the end's broken off. I have to constantly put it back on. And like, <laughs> it's, I don't know. I've drawn a good 60 pages of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that the chat is on top of Renee all the time. I wonder if I could move that over. That's oh, all right. Every time, I, every time I highlight a chat, it's on Renee's face. <laughs> Sorry. I see you put Brent next to you. So jealous. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I probably should move you over here, though. How do I do that? I'm learning. No, no, no. I don't, no, no. I don't actually know how to move you. Oh, Just wait, leave me go. there. Hey. There we go. Now I'm going to put stuff over your face. There you go. What do you think about that? You get it. No, don't, put, don't do that. Put Brent, <laughs> yeah. put Brent up wait, there. Wait, where did Brent go? Brent, where are you? Oh, there <laughs> he is. Ooh, okay. He's here. <laughs> now we can put Peekaboo Brent. Where do people the title. talk? They'll be in this like chat over here. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, on the mm -hmm. right side, it, you should see it over there, the comments. And then we have like a private chat below, but comments there. I don't know what your screen looks oh, like. Okay, it was it was off the page. Okay. Yep. And then I'll, I think also on YouTube there's a chat there as well. Well, all right. So um, should we move on to? I mean, I could look at Brent's art all day. Actually, I know. Let me just do that. And do you? <laughs> Let's have a whole stream about Brent's art. Hey, do you have any rise on here? I would actually like to show that. Oh, one. the rise. Cool. Yeah. Look how cool these That's, are. Look at this. Oh, is that a Conan too? Oh, yeah. There's Conan. There's some video of the rise. A video? Oh. Do, you have any, do you have any wacky oh, packages? Yeah. You just somewhere? This, there's, there's yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is Brent's there's comic probably, that he's working on. You might silence it because there's like copyright music probably on it. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. All right, so this is the comic that he's working on. I don't know if you want to talk to me about it or, or just going to show it or do you want me to explain it or should it stay secret? I, you know, I don't know how much you want to reveal. Yeah. I don't know. I might yeah. keep it secret. I haven't okay. really said much about it on Instagram. Yeah, that's okay. That, that's cool. But this is awesome and a super unique comic that um, I've never seen anything like it. And I'm super excited for this thing to come out. Um, he is kicking butt on it. And he's got these cool videos where you can see him working on it. I love his hatching. How is your hand so steady? <laughs> I've been saying that forever. I love it. How is your hand so steady? Like you just, it's like unshakable. I do have a pretty steady hand, I guess. <laughs> you do. Look at that. Um, yeah, can't go back. Can't go it's back. It's like a work of art. It's like a work of art. <laughs> that's, there's that one hair brush too so that's the one you've been making with that you really like yeah that's the that's my brush yeah. i'm gonna keep that forever <laughs> it's been with me i hope it stays with you forever 
You have to explain what the rise is. I think it's brilliant. Well, he doesn't want to give too much away yet. So oh, I love <laughs> it. It is brilliant. It is brilliant. And it's, it's special. And I don't think it could exist again. It's like a one of a kind book. I, I mm -hmm. it just wouldn't happen again. It's just such a like once in a lifetime thing. So I'm not someone beats me to the punch if I can't get it out quick enough. Uh, <laughs> it's only been I don't like think anybody. Time. I don't like think anybody the, the, would think that. Yeah, like the <laughs> sequence of events that would have to happen for someone else to make this book. I yeah. just don't think it could happen. It's a it's a one of a kind thing. It's just it's ba it's a uh, based on a diary that I found. That's, I guess I can say that. Oh wow! Yeah, I remember this. Do you do you remember this? Wow! Story? This giant, yeah, I remember. amazing drawing. I remember. Yeah, that's so cool. That's from and it's all panels, like mm -hmm. kind of telling a story. A comic book. Hey, one more rise. Look at that! Look at that! That's good stuff. A comic right? within a comic. Yeah. I love how you did the, uh, in the word balloons, just the lines like that. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Because I didn't write any of it. It's all, he wrote it all. Right, right. Avatar. Right. Oh, yeah. I forgot he went by Avatar. Oh, yeah. Avatar, Avatar 3.1.2 or something like that. 3.1.2. Hey, I was close. I was yeah. close. <laughs> yeah. I like inking. <laughs> I like it. And I like your eating. <laughs> I like your hatching. <laughs> Ooh, look at the rain. Look at the rain. How much I like it. <laughs> Ray could go on all day about Brent's work. He's like, look at that. Look at the hatching. Look at the look at this. Oh, I should tell the story actually. When I was oh, yeah. going into my freshman year of high school, um, I got in our art class, I got an art locker. Um, and inside the art locker were all these amazing drawings of like this uh, lob lobster kid or, or whatever the name was, like, this, and this tree guy, like all this and with this amazing hatching on it and stuff. And I was absolutely blown away by it. And it turns out it was Brent's artwork. <laughs> and then like years later, we ended up being friends. But it, it like inspired me. It was one of the early artists to inspire me. It was actually Brent Ingstrom. <laughs> yeah, the best now, person to find that. Because I left yeah. it thinking someone would find it. And you, it's, it was it's me. Pretty, it's pretty. Yeah. And it, it was, it was, I was like the best person <laughs> to find that because someone else might have just thrown it away or something like yeah. you wouldn't think about it. And to me, it was like cherished stuff, you know? It, it, and just, you had techniques that I hadn't seen before with like sort of, I'll be back. I remember you were kind of like putting some shading behind the character to kind of make it pop and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that stuff still stays with me, you know? <laughs> really? Um, yeah, it really does. Wow. Like the way you drew branches kind of still stays with me, like all that stuff. And it was just a weird coincidence that I got that locker, you know? <laughs> and then you had left the art in there to inspire someone and I got it. That's, that's so cool. And then years cool. later, oh yeah, well, I guess we were in the middle of telling the story of uh, when we went to the tops. Booth. Renee disappeared again. Where are you at? I'm, she said I'm she's trying to, I'm trying to tweet it. I'm oh, on okay. an iPad, so it like kicks me out every time I try to tweet. Okay, well she's not totally gone, but um, no, I'm still here. I'm, I'm still here. Yeah, so we went to the tops booth together uh, to talk to them about maybe doing the sketch cards for Lord of the Rings, and while I was there, I saw a painting. I didn't even know what it was, but I saw a painting up on their booth wall. And I was like, that kind of reminds me of Brent's stuff. I was like, I, w I wonder if, like, I've got a friend who kind of, you know, looks like he could do this stuff or whatever. And I, I connected him with the person at Tops. I told Brent about it. And he's like, oh, Garbage Pail Kids. I love Garbage Pail Kids. I, like, grew up with those. I'd love to do that, you know. And now he's been painting them for almost 20 years. <laughs> it's amazing. So from me getting your drawings in my locker to you painting Garbage Pail Kids for 20 years, and we're still friends, and that's awesome. Yeah, I don't know if I would have thought to submit to Tops that uh, for that because I was I was just going to around to every like magazine and comic book company to yeah, try to yeah. get work, and then I don't know, and then it stuck with Tops. <laughs> yeah, cool. and back then you couldn't like submit through a website or email or anything. Yeah, like, yeah, they were against that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, mail. I letter. remember reading that in the. Um, artist and graphic designer whatever that book was like they had one every year the annual guide or whatever yeah. it was this massive like bible and you'd have to read through all the listings for every company to see what their rules were for submitting mm -hmm. to them and it was always like a printed portfolio that you'd have to spend money on to ship and print and all that it was crazy back then now you can just email anybody or just be on instagram it, and it was like the awesome. last year uh, people would mail out postcards i've had postcards right. that mail out yeah. every magazine and stuff 
Yeah, I don't think yeah. you got a single job that way, though. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how I, I never did it because I, I always felt like I probably wouldn't get a job from that. So yeah. I just kind of didn't. So I started trying to find ways to get jobs online. And that's, you know, what led me to, to all my jobs was just I, I happened to have a website that had samples of stuff like lettering and stuff and mm -hmm. no one else apparently did. And that's kind of how I got they were. They said they were looking for letterers and couldn't find anybody online that had it except for me. So I ended up with a job. <laughs> worked out but that was the early days of internet portfolios and now if you sent postcards around maybe you'd be the only one doing yeah. it and there might be like, i really stand out <laughs> yeah yeah it probably would they'd be like what's this thing what do, what is this on paper <laughs> i have a whole box of them that's kind of a good that's kind of a good tip so all you artists out there send a postcard you might actually get a job faster than online now All right. Oh, my audio kind of blinked out there for a sec. Everybody hear me okay? Yeah. 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 yeah? Okay. All right. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. And if you're there, make sure you uh, subscribe and like, as I should repeat. <laughs> getting the hang of the streaming. Yeah, we're getting there. I'm still watching the same video of the rain. I just realized I keep zoning out watching the rain, too. We're it's just rain. This video. It's beautiful rain. Let's just watch this all night. <laughs> Here's a new one though. Yeah, some more rain. Different, <laughs> a different approach. Ooh, now we got white rain. <laughs> that is fascinating to watch though. I love these rides videos. Yeah, just quit making it. That. This uh, is what Ray does all day. He just watches <laughs> Brantwork. I do. I just keep them moving. <laughs> okay, I should I should live stream it. You totally should, yeah. That would be great. And awesome. I will definitely be there. <laughs> I'll be there watching real hard. Watching real hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at that rain. That is some good rain. I really could watch that all day. <laughs> I just have like Hundred pages left, and I'll be done with it. Nice, yeah. Hundred pages. Well, I mean, but how many have you done? Right? No, I, I really, I'm almost ahead a hundred, so I will have after that. I'll have fifty-five pages left. Nice, yeah. All right. Pages. Oh man, you're gonna be done real soon. Thank you for the Yay! All right, let's see it. I'm gonna make you big again. Is that? God, look at that. Jeez. Wow. So how many is that? that this is like, this is like 88 pages or 90. This is 90 pages. Wow. <laughs> God, look at that. That's going to be on display somewhere someday. <laughs> Maybe. I I'm going to buy this, one eventually. Put all this stash it away and until someone finds it. <laughs> I'm gonna find it. That's how I that's how I overall. <laughs> Wait. Well that looks excellent. Welcome to new people in the stream. Thank you for coming. Um, here pretty soon we're gonna get into uh, reviewing some of the art that uh, some people sent us, some indie comic creators. Um, just gonna check Do it out. Do they know that doing. we're doing it? Do they know since it's so late? Um, yeah, I sent out the, the oh. link and stuff, I believe. Okay. Actually, let me double check. They should be watching, but I, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, and if not, they'll they'll have the video we can share with them later, too. So, uh, But yeah, we'll we get into... What's that? Mention, like, our backgrounds. Like, like what makes sure. us all different, you know, as artists. Oh, right, I really yeah. I thought like, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, that, that, yeah, that'd be a good thing to talk about. Like, how, how we learned art differently. Because I have a feeling... Both of you guys are drastically differently than me. I know Renee is. I'm pretty sure you are too. But like I I was the kind of kid who just looked at every single book, did every lesson, you know, okay. tried technically right. to figure Sorry, out can how I to do it. pause you for a second? Sorry. No, no, I have a surprise for Brent. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be a good one. Well, come here. You got to come over here. Well, get over there. Hey, it's Tyson. Hey, yeah, it's Tyson. Hello. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Get I in the camera. Over. Hang on a second. Let me put oh, yeah, give him one of the earbuds. 
This is our son, our oldest son, Tyson. Sorry, you you're gonna have to. Oh wait, left one. Brett used to babysit. He's got a beard. Just... <laughs> okay, there we go. So, what do you think of his beard? Yeah, there he is. That's great. Looks good. <laughs> I like it. Hans handsome man. Yeah, do you remember me? <laughs> Come on, yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah. talk about. It. He remembers the pool table. Where he oh, was, yeah. Do yeah. <laughs> you remember putting the balls the in the pool, pool table, table. Yeah. over and over <laughs> again? Yeah, I still do that. <laughs> he still does that. That's got to be time. shocking because you haven't seen him since, I think, 2014. Uh, was that it? Oh, yeah. I guess when uh, we went to visit was, briefly. Yeah. Yeah. When we went to visit. Like, I remember that. Yeah. 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 A grown oh, I'm so proud of him. Look at that. Great. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's glorious. Can, that's can what we power babies is hit him again, Brent? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why we brought you on the can stream. We would like you to babysit our son. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to ship him to Kansas. That's okay. We're still going to ship him over there. He's going to stay with you for a while. Uh, Sure. That's that. <laughs> He's all Thanks yours, friend. <laughs> Put him to work. Maybe better change of pace. Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome. Good we'll yeah. to see you again. Uh, Good seeing you. <laughs> no. Okay, go get food. Okay. Okay, go get some food. <laughs> Midnight, eating food. You can't have any more cake. Just, you know. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. Comment. <laughs> Having a parent while on stream now. No <laughs> cake. No cake for you. Whenever I make cake, it's just like swatting off kids like all the time. Like I have a broom and I'm like, get back. Because they'll just like devour it. Get out of here. You're grounded. Go to bed. I, I embarrassed myself. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Okay. You were awesome, Tyson. Thanks for coming on. We love you, Tyson. And... All right. So we were saying, what were we talking about? We were talking we were about, talking uh, about how, how we learn were... differently, right? So mm -hmm. I uh, I read every book, did every lesson, drew just like technically every muscle, everything about perspective, all that stuff. Um, and you guys, Renee in particular, never even picked up a book. <laughs> she doesn't nope. even know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> I need that book learning. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um. But yeah, I just like muddled my way through it. Got really frustrated nope. at myself, and then I would draw more. <laughs> you know. Um. I remember that one of the hardest things I had to learn to draw was this gargoyle. It was like a little Dungeons and Dragons mini figure. He was really cool. He had these big like wings and everything. But from the front, he had like a snout that was like foreshortened, you know, so I had to try to learn how to draw that. And it took me like weeks, but I did it. So um, that was basically it. Repeat the process, like find something I want to draw, get really frustrated until I get it right. Mm -hmm. And just figuring it out on your own. Like I never, I never did that. I just didn't know. I don't know. I didn't know how to process like dimension like that, like having form and, and all that. I had to study like perspective on the figure and putting a, a human figure inside a box to give it that dimension and it was just so confusing to me i filled out so many newsprint pads and stuff trying to get it right it never looked right it was so stiff like i still struggle with things being kind of stiff from from that you know i've had to work through that but your stuff you did kind of so organically that it's always had that kind of flow to it that form like it's like you felt it instead of forcing it out of yourself which is well i mean you did force it out of yourself but in a different way i guess yeah but what like about you brent i know you've been drawn you know, since you were sorry go ahead honey oh no 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 <laughs> okay well brent i know you've been drawn both yeah. of you guys have been drawn since you were really little yeah. and your drawings when you were young are so impressive to me because like oh that was something is i had never really drawn for myself uh, up until my teen years i would look at something like Garfield or a comic cover or something and I would redraw it while looking at it so I could kind of get that spatial 
awareness of like where things go and i could do that pretty well but when i would try to draw for myself I, I, you guys know this but I, I the first time i did it i named this guy marshmallow man because i just could not get anatomy at all he was just this melting blob of flesh and did not look at all like a human um and it was sort of based on like rob liefeld drawings and stuff but even then like i just couldn't get that form at all so that was when i was like 15 or something 15 in my but late that's teens neat. that's neat though because like you after all that time you decided to just do it i'm gonna learn how yeah. to yeah you know, and you did it so it was it was really incredible. when i like i we talked about this last night but when i when i saw my first comic books um i had gone from garfield to seeing rob liefeld's chapel <laughs> and stuff like that so it was this like shocking moment where i saw his crazy forms and skulls and guns and all this crazy stuff and i was just like whoa i want to try to draw that and i've heard other people say this too but something about his art it makes you think like hey i, I think i could do that you know even though it's like he is a professional his stuff is amazing you know but like you know not everybody agrees with that but i do um but it, it did give you like the spirit of like i want to try to do that something about is it that I when think you I did cyborg dragothani um that was pretty <laughs> soon after that yeah i was <laughs> i need to pull out those pages i don't know where they are right now but my first uh warrior guy just slaughtering <laughs> see i don't even know what they were demons or werewolves or something to save so they were in a tower and he had to work his way up right right is that what it was? Okay. And, yeah it was like this giant it was a vampire king or something that had kidnapped his wife and uh for some reason who knows why um and uh he had to go through every level almost like a video game slaughtering all these creatures until he could get to the top and, and fight him and the thing that renee pointed out to me was that i piled all the bodies in a nice yeah, he little took pile. The time <laughs> like he's in a hurry i gotta get my wife you know she's in danger but after he kills all these people he like piles them really neatly like 50 people <laughs> it's like, this is more important <laughs> I really got to find that and pull it out. That's so funny. Just, I, at the time, I just didn't think of it. I just thought, like, I'd seen that image before in comics, but that was like a superhero piling up criminals for the police or something. But I had <laughs> thought of it, like, oh, I should do that with these bodies that I, he's slaughtered. And so it was just a, a pile that he must have taken the time to drag over to this pile and throw them on and then go up to the next level to fight some more. He's um, respecting <laughs> his, his enemy you know yeah. Yeah. honor giving him a good a good burial sort of <laughs> on on his brethren on top of their bodies as well <laughs> <laughs> but anyway so yeah i saw that first comic and that really just sparked something in me that made me want to figure it out and i i was saying this too last night that uh, i had read somewhere that comic book artists draw for eight hours a day so i was like professional does so i just started drawing for eight hours a day every day um you know yeah i took it real seriously and but at the time it was really just like following how to draw the marvel way and stuff like that and just doing yeah, yeah. you know all those like how to draw a head how to draw a head from this side how to draw from that side over and over and over again until i eventually figured it out but <laughs> it's i was, I was more like renee when i was yeah. like i just but I, I would try not to look at anything. I was always trying to just draw yeah. directly out of my head. But I would look at stuff. But yeah, I, but like I tried to avoid things too. Like I, I, I was like, I kind of like the direction this is going in, so I'll just yeah. not look at anything. But me and my me and my twin brother would just draw a lot, and yeah, I think we felt like it was cheating if we looked at something. <laughs> so we're like, <laughs> or something. I mean, I don't know. yeah, no, I, I get that. It's just, and and that's the thing though is you you do have to figure it out and create more if you're not looking at something you know if you're, mm -hmm. if you're looking at something you are kind of copying it so it, it's not necessarily cheating but yeah. <laughs> it, it does feel that way at the same there was time. like there was some perspective and stuff in it like even even like a drawing from when i was like three or four you could see yeah. like some unknowing like i didn't know perspective but it was like i put a leg behind another leg or like yeah yeah i love seeing your you both you guys old stuff because there is that understanding of like the world around you and mm. i don't know you just had that the where i didn't really have it the, the one time i drew i mean this might be part of it too is the one time i drew something for myself it's this big poster of a caveman and i was so proud of it and i took it to school the next day and my i like stayed up real after on it took it to school the next day and my teacher said that my sister drew it for me because she was a an award-winning artist at school and she's like you didn't draw that 
that was your sister. And I was like, no, I, it I wasn't. Experienced, I experienced that did, too. Because my older brother, and he would, oh, he would no. bring my stuff into his teacher's classroom to show, like, because I was three years younger than him. Yeah. He would show his high school teacher, my, like, junior high, or elementary school, I guess. Yeah. Drawings, That's and, cool uh, that he was taking your stuff into And then he like just, that. the teacher just thought he drew him. I don't know. I don't know why my brother be lying about that. <laughs> why did your brother go in and say my bro my little brother drew this, not me? It's my little brother. Just, <laughs> and then he just said he was lying. He just, I traced him or something. I don't know what he said. But. Yeah, teachers are weird. I also flunked art all through high school. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, did you not know that? Yeah, we have Mister. Well, I won't say his name, I guess. But yeah. uh, the teacher that we had um, just yeah. really didn't like me, and uh, I did. I even did the 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 lessons like we had a perspective lesson and i mm -hmm. i kind of nailed it and i did this like castle that had skulls on it and stuff it was after i'd found comics you know and uh um he just hated that thing and i know i did a good job with it yeah but he, he, he wanted me to do something brother, else or something he made my older brother kind of quit drawing he told him it was no good and just like oh really it, it I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah <clears throat> yeah if i hadn't already had like the fire to do it at that point mm -hmm. it might have done that because like Kind of yeah. like with my my teacher when I was younger, like that did stop me from drawing for a while, um, you know, in like second grade or whatever. I was like, oh, I guess I shouldn't draw because I got almost in trouble for it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, in high school, he he really just hated everything I did. I would try to try to do a painting, and it would be a wizard, and he's like, no, you should do a landscape of a golf course or something. I'm like, I don't want to paint that, but I'm still taking the lessons <laughs> and trying to apply them to what I'm doing. And he just gave me an F three years in a row. It, it wasn't until I went to tech school, Votech, that I got like straight A's through that. And, yeah. you know, that gave me the like confidence, like, okay, I am doing something right. But before that, it was just like, God, these teachers hate me. <laughs> now my, my, my art teacher ended up getting mad at me, too. <laughs> really? What for? Yeah. Well, like he, he would always enter the artist into art contests, you know, like he was always doing that. So like, you know, his front runners were his favorite. You know, if they won and stuff, he would like be super nice to them. And if he lost, you know, oh, <laughs> you yeah. were nothing. So like, I won like I don't know third place or second place in like the duck stamp contest, like where you draw a duck <laughs> and <laughs> it can be a stamp, I guess, if you win. So like after okay. that, he was treating me all like, hey, you know, how are you doing today? Like, what you gonna draw? You know, like stuff like that. And then I got You're like, I didn't, I didn't win another contest, and then I was just. I was just junk after that. <laughs> oh, geez. So. Did, you, did you just keep going, though, without his support? <laughs> or is it like... Oh, yeah, I didn't... Yeah, yeah, I kept drawing and stuff. Yeah. He, like, I tried drawing comics, you know, because, like, he actually did a comic book project. And oh, then, right. like, he kept telling me to not ink it first and then color. Mm -hmm. He was like, no, you have to color it and then ink it. And I'm just oh, like, well, really? I, kind of, I like doing it this way. Yeah. <laughs> he just got so pissed. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I, I, that's how I draw. <laughs> There's only one way to do art. My <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> the dang duck stamp. That was the big one. You know, every year. Duck stamp. <laughs> I would love to see that. I wish you had that. Brent, when did you start drawing? Like, what was the first memory? I just before I could remember like we would just me and my brothers would just draw all the time but I I'm trying to think of when I like really remember but I I don't know <laughs> I just always true but we would draw for like hours at a time just like wow and that's then, cool like, that you and your brother were doing it together like that <laughs> yeah there's there's like pictures of us and stuff when we're tiny just sitting there. oh I want to see that but we'd go through just like copy paper but we also had these giant rolls of like Kind of like bread paper or something or like i don't know what it would be used for <laughs> just like a giant roll of paper oh yeah yeah oh, i had, yeah. I had oh, one of those God. yeah we were, just, we were just constantly drawing that like scenes but i didn't know how to draw comics so it, it was mostly just like me telling you what was happening in the scene like yeah like it seemed impossible to draw a comic book when you're a kid because you just, yeah yeah <laughs> You didn't know you want to do animation and that just I couldn't process how that yeah. was at all. You know, it's just like I want to do that, but so that's what led me to like drawing cartoons, but mm -hmm. no idea how to make it move, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like 
and we just always had comic books around. My dad, my dad collected comic books before we were born, so he he would just take us to buy comic books like our whole lives. So I don't really have a distinct memory of like when I was introduced to it because it's just always been in my life. Yeah. You know, did like, you but, did your dad take you like a comic book store or something? Um, or? he would, but they, back then they were also just sold, sold in like grocery stores and stuff. So we would yeah. every time we went to the store, we would look on the comic book racks and. But uh, yeah, we would go to comic book stores too. There was, there was a there was a comic book shop down the street that we'd walk to all the time. <laughs> so we were, we uh, were talking last night, and I've heard this a few times lately. But how there were a lot of comic book stores in just some guy's house back then. <laughs> <laughs> like you just go to the back door or something and they have like a little room that's their comic book store. Uh -huh. And I, I never went to a comic book store like that, but I did go to a card shop that was that way. It was just like in, in the back of his house, he had set up a whole bunch of boxes of cards and it, it looked kind of like a store. So I remembered it being a store, but then I realized, oh yeah, it was just a guy's house. <laughs> you know, he did, he did have a store at one time though. Right. Isn't it about the guy? Oh, it was actually before that. It was in, uh, diff, you know, the town I grew up in. Oh, really? Okay. So, yeah, okay. totally different town. But, yeah, yeah no, um, the one in, in Salina, it was like uh, he had a shop, and then when that closed down, he opened it yeah. up in his house. But, no, I've heard the same story from a lot of people from that time period of just mm. guys having <laughs> yeah. comic shops in their house. So you would be going to their house to get your comics. <laughs> That's yeah. kind of cool and weird. <laughs> There's a used bookstore down the street. That we'd walk to all the time and they sold comics comics for like a quarter a piece and we'd buy them there and it was wow, a quarter a piece and it was nice. walking distance so we would just walk down there <laughs> so what did you get like what kind of books did you guys get? um they had a pretty wide range like they, i remember seeing like underground comics and stuff in there but i didn't quite get them at the time <laughs> like I, but i would just buy like old folk comics and stuff and like but they're all from like they were all old because they were a quarter in a used bookstore. So they weren't like, most of them weren't <laughs> modern. So I kind of got into the old comics more than the new, newer ones, or the current ones. And then my, yeah. my older brother collected Hulk, and he didn't like this one artist. And I would just buy up all those because he'd leave them there. And then he became my favorite <laughs> Hulk artist. <laughs> Herb Trimpy. Oh, yeah, Herb Trimpy, okay. See all those artists I've learned about later in life, you know, because I didn't get to see any of those comics back then. It was like a pretty big like print run. They're the, like the first comics I remember actually reading and following a story, like because it was mm -hmm. like consecutive issues. Like back then, I you didn't even realize they did that really. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh wait, there's more story. Yeah. yeah. So like I could see that there was a cliffhanger, and it would, and I had the next issue, so I could follow it for the first time. So that, I think that's when I really started reading them. And I was probably like eight or something. <laughs> that's cool. A lot of the times I wish I kind of would have grown up with comics that way. It's, it's funny because like I, I have a memory of holding old comics like that and even kind of how they smell. I smell mm -hmm. comics, okay? I like to smell comic books. <laughs> yeah. um, but I still sort of like have that memory. But I, what's that? The, the woman who owned the store was a chain smoker, so they all smelled like cigarettes. Oh, <laughs> no. but I have this like Maybe nostalgic right. cigarette comic book yeah. that I like. Yeah, <laughs> probably a lot of them did smell that way back mm -hmm. in eighties, eighties and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's uh, it it would have been cool to like have grown up with just comics around all the time. Mm -hmm. Cause, like my mm -hmm. first superheroes were like Mighty Mouse, Space Ghost, you know, stuff yeah. like that. Before yeah. before I, you know, and I'd seen superman later and uh, batman movies and stuff like that but i you know until i found image comics basically i hadn't seen comic books anywhere and i even after that i wasn't really into like marvel and dc or anything once i got into comics it was it took a few years before i started trying that stuff mm -hmm. it was all just image comics or like indie comics actually a lot of kind of black and white indie comics um that i had just seen on the shelf um, that appealed to me a lot of the times because of the hatching. <laughs> Apparently, I've liked hatching for you, a long you time. Love hatching. I love hatching. <laughs> That's why my stuff has so much crazy hatching in it. <laughs> the, the grocery store that I went, that I bought most of my comic books from, they had a. It was kind of back where the magazines are. It was like a little alcove, but mm -hmm. underneath the uh, magazine rack was a, a missing piece, and I would like hide comic books back there to make because I couldn't oh. buy more than one. <laughs> totally. Out. So I, I did that exactly. Back yeah. 
I did that same thing at Dylan Supermarket. That's where I was. Was it? We were both doing it. <laughs> but but I, I did find other kids were doing it, but we all kind of respected each other's stocks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I never heard of that. yeah. I would have had like Spawn and like, yeah. I remember picking. Really? <laughs> the first issue of Spawn that way. Oh my God. That actually might be the comic that I put there. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, I would hide Spawn comics back there until I could come back and get them. Yeah, at Dylan Supermarket. Oh my god! And I, I so caught another. I caught another kid doing it, but we all we all kind of yeah respected each other's privacy stuff. Like, don't don't take my comics. I won't take yeah. yours. You didn't say it. We just kind of yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> just understood yeah. the code of the comic fan. Then I got Todd McFarlane to sign that issue that I bought there. Oh, like, you know, nice. I'm mad about it. Oh like, wow, really? In high school, I went and it was. He had really? the like oh, wow. automobile and everything there. Mm. You know that giant car that he would oh, car around. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pull that up. <laughs> it's like a funny That's car. so cool that you actually got to see that and see him at like the height mm -hmm. of I, I have a everything. picture of him signing it, like me meeting him, but I don't I I can't find it. Oh Maybe man, I really want to see that. Oh, this is the toy one. I'm trying to find the real spawn car. I don't know. Sorry, I'm you looking up the spawn mobile. It's happening now. In the movie, the movie that they are supposed <laughs> to have a is. date now, right? The spawn. Yeah, that's something I'm excited about. They announced that there's a, a firm date for the new spawn movie. Um, Blumhouse announced it that it's I think I forget what exactly it is, but it's 2025, I think. But it's a firm date. They're they're doing it. So <laughs> very excited about that. It's through Blumhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you know, but also Jamie Foxx is supposed to play Spawn. He's yeah, been attached I, I, for a long I didn't time. See that. So I, I, look at go ahead. It'll probably be pretty gory. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's supposed to be R-rated. They're they're doing it kind of low budget and just focusing on the scariness of it. Um, so it's probably going to be drastically different from the original Spawn movie, which was, you know, I like that movie a lot. Okay, yeah. but it, I know what it is. <laughs> I know what it's like. <laughs> But um, but yeah. So this new one, it's it should be really cool. But do do we know what's going on with Jamie Foxx currently? Have you heard anything? Like I, he was in the hospital, um, for something real oh, serious. I, I but... think he, I think he got out. Oh, is he out now? Oh, okay. Yeah. Or he's Good. healing. I don't. I'm yeah. not sure what it was. It was like a heart thing or something. Yeah, I heard it was either like a stroke or a heart mm -hmm. thing or something real serious, and that. Like at first they were saying like he's he's done for he's not gonna recoup, recover from it, um, but then I kind of started hearing that maybe it was, but I, I couldn't find any clear information on it or anything. But I'm glad he's okay. I, yeah. I, <laughs> such a talented guy, and yeah. I definitely want to see the Spawn movie selfishly. But <laughs> yeah. all right, check this out. So here is the Spawn movie. Yeah. yeah, I might even be in the city. Oh no, kidding! That would be amazing. <laughs> There's Brent. There he is right there. He's in the back. Wait, there he is. I pointed at the wrong screen. He's one of these guys. I'm trying to think if he was wearing the Marvin the Martian shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he is wearing a Marvin the Martian shirt. Do you remember when that was popular? Like Looney yeah. Tunes? Even like yeah. gangster kids, like the kids I grew up with, we were all wearing like Looney Tunes and stuff. <laughs> Real hardcore Looney Tune supporters. <laughs> in the streets with our Looney Tunes. Did you look out for his Felix the Cat on every in every issue? Yeah, yeah, Felix the Cat. I love that. Yeah, I I, I miss that. How comics used to do that a lot. Like they would put stuff on shirts or yeah, you know, in a window they would put toys. I mean, people do it sometimes, but it doesn't seem like part of the culture of comics anymore. Yeah, it seemed to really be that way back in the day. I think people are afraid of getting like sued. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> even though there's a lot less comics being printed. It, there was like millions of copies of Spawn. <laughs> True, yeah, millions and millions, and they didn't get sued for that. It's funny how the thing he got sued for was, excuse me, naming a character Tony Twist. You know, mm -hmm. for the do you know about that? I don't for know the hockey. There was a hockey player named Anthony Twist. Oh. And he had named one of his villains Tony Twist, and he actually got sued and had to change the name. It Weird. seems like that's it was so different. It's not like he made a hockey player in his comic, Tony uh, Anthony Twist or something. Yeah. But, some mob boss was named Tony Twist, which sounds like a mob boss name, but yeah. <laughs> he got sued just because he's a fan of hockey. If he didn't but, like hockey, he probably it probably yeah. wouldn't have gone through. <laughs> but I think when a comic gets that big, people are just looking to sue. 
by yeah you know like eastman and laird they're they were constantly getting sued <laughs> yeah i've kind of i've kind of heard about that there's just tons yeah. of lawsuits just over yeah. your whole job just becomes fighting law lawsuits your whole <laughs> yeah boy that would suck i don't want to ever get sued <laughs> don't ever, ever sue me if you're out there don't sue me <laughs> Pretty please. I kind of want to draw an issue of Spawn someday. I just want to see if I could do it. I would love <laughs> to see that. Fun. Speaking of speaking of which, where did I put it? One second, everyone. Mm -hmm. there. Draw Spawn. I finally I, got I, Renee I, to draw I, I Spawn. Really, I did draw him. That's my first Spawn. <laughs> well, just this. like the top part, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah. I could draw that cape all day long. You just give me that. You cape. would draw a great cape. Yeah. So yeah, Todd little... McFarlane, I know you're out there. I would like to, uh, for us to do some spawn issues even, and even change his little skulls a little bit. Yeah, they look cool. I That's like that. Horns. Yeah, there was a version that I saw. It was a really old piece of art, and it had the horns. I'm like, oh, oh really? Cooler. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I did that. By yeah, the way, I should mention of... this is available on our store, NewQuestComics.com. You can pick this thing up and keep it in your house. And love it and cherish it and call it George. Hug it and frame it and hug it some more. Is that your first bond drawing before you draw it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, now I'm the only one on the I've screen. I've always wanted to draw him, but I don't, I don't know why. He's got lots of awesome, you know, okay. flowy bits. I like flowy bits. There we go. You can all... I used to draw stuff. You're, every you're not allowed to call spawn... Flowy bits. having flowy bits okay? <laughs> okay you gotta use cooler well, his like no, chains of doom yeah, i know his chains they're very flowy, flowy. They're very flowy. They're flowy. they do things <laughs> he's a living you and you would be great with that it would be amazing i would love to see you draw a spawn book and i would want to ink and color it so is this cape alive like dr strange's yeah <laughs> it's a it's a symbiote kind yeah. of thing from hell you know so it's it's alive <laughs> Yeah, I love Spawn. Let's talk yeah. about Spawn the rest of the night. Not like the first <laughs> ten issues, probably, <laughs> or yeah. whenever whenever he quit drawing it, I uh, I bounced. But <laughs> yeah, a lot of people did. I'm I'm glad yeah. that I actually I kind of came into it. Yeah, looking back, the art didn't suffer really. I mean, each artist he got was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I thought like he chose good yeah. art. I yeah, just, and there for a while, I like liked, I just liked an artist writer team, like without like when it was one person's vision. So I yeah, like, like Savage like, Dragon. Yeah. yeah. He's been so doing it himself I forever. Yeah. I understand that. A lot of people stopped after Todd McFarlane stopped. Yeah, which is kind of stuff, but... stupid because most comics, the artist changes at some point. It's not like yeah. it's like every nope. comic has the same artist first. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I guess people did follow people over to Image because they were following Todd McFarlane or yeah. Mark Silvestri or whoever. Yeah. Um, but and that was something cool that he did too was having like Mark Silvestri draw an issue of Spawn in within the first ten issues I think even yeah and having like Frank Miller write one and having uh, Cerebus come into it like having all these kind of things happen mm -hmm. in the first ten but yeah like I was kind of lucky that I I came into it um, after Greg Capullo had already taken over oh right. um, and then I went backwards um, yeah and started hey we got Rob Norton in the house and he wishes McFarlane would draw again. Mm -hmm. Me too. Me too. I've been saying that for a long time. Hi, Rob. <laughs> Doesn't he draw? We should probably get to review sort his of. art. <laughs> yeah, he has been drawn. Yeah, we should. Um, or like we're gonna that. do tonight with a structure, and we're gonna go this, 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 right. this. Done. Totally fell apart. I like this better. But okay. but... <laughs> we're having fun. So, but yeah, um, he has been drawing more lately, um, but not like, and even some sequentials. I think yeah. I might even be wrong about that. But there for a long time, he wasn't drawing anything, but like some side profile kind of monster stuff which was cool but you know you want him to do spawn or something yeah and, did you did you see his issues where he would eric larson drew it then he would kind of tighten up the inks and add, yeah, add yeah, yeah. The top. that was i thought they were a pretty good team like a, yeah they they definitely were i like those a lot yeah he um he does do that a lot he kind of inks a lot but he yeah. adds a lot of himself into it um yeah. so he's, he has kind of been doing that people don't really talk much about that but he has been kind of inking the book mm -hmm. off and on for a long time you know yeah um and especially recently he's doing a lot of that and even like um the haunt and stuff like that mm -hmm. that he uh ryan otley who we know from digital webbing and stuff 
Um, and uh, Greg Capullo was doing the layouts on that. And then Ryan Otley would finish it. And then Todd McFarlane would ink it. And that was a cool pairing for that book, you know. Um, but, yeah, it would be nice if he was doing more drawing. I agree with that. <laughs> Draw Spawn. But he's also running several companies. So, I guess <laughs> it's hard to, hard to have the time. Yeah. Getting movies being, getting movies made. Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm excited about that movie. I think it's going to be real good. I think just get it out. <laughs> but all right, enough Spawn talk. Just kidding, psych. Let's talk about Spawn all night. Okay. <laughs> no, we should probably. Issues. What's that? Let me go grab my issues. My signed. Yeah, issues. yeah. I got a whole bunch right there. Let's get into them. Let's get them out. Look, I got, I got uh, Violator oh right here. <laughs> Look at my little Violator. You have your, you have your Spawn figure. I think. Right there next to you. Oh, yeah, table, I do. Right? I have that too. I found that violator at you know the one of those sales they have in the in the mall where everybody brings their comics Got and old toys spots. and stuff. It was a, it was good, <laughs> good price. Uh, Got so much spawn. <laughs> All right. Okay. Officially enough spawn talk. You should probably get into checking out some art here, huh? Make sure to subscribe to Spawn Talk. Yeah, make sure to <laughs> subscribe to Spawn and like Spawn. <laughs> <Let's> just... <laughs> Don't even bother with this. Just go like Spawn more. That'll make me happy. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, let's get into reviewing some of this artwork. We have Rob Norton in the house. He is an artist that we have known for a very long time, back in the digital webbing days, which mm -hmm. was a comic book forum that Renee and I met on actually. Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was, that, Oh, that was a story I was going to tell real quick. Let's <laughs> divulge again. Um, so uh, the very first time I saw Renee's artwork, I didn't know she was a girl or anything. There weren't a whole lot of girl artists back then, but it was a cave woman drawing contest and everybody was kind of drawing sexy cave women. You know, it was kind of the same thing. They were all fine. But then she drew, oh, and if you can find it, Renee, I would love I'm to show this off. I'm trying, I'm trying. I think it's okay. all my deviant art. She drew this, like, massive, gnarly-looking cave woman chewing on, like, a dinosaur leg meat, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> with her, holding it with her feet and her arms and stuff. It was so awesome. And I remember just thinking, like, whoa, that's, like, one of the most unique things I've seen on here, on, on this forum that I've been on forever, looking at all this art. And it just totally blew me away. Um, and then I found out she was a very pretty girl. So I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. And then I married and then, her. And then you did a Michael Jackson impression. And then, and then I, did, we I did do it. That's how I won her heart. Guys out there, if you do Michael Jackson impressions <laughs> in a silly high falsetto voice, you'll get the you girl gotta, every you time. You got to do it. <laughs> I gotta do it. I don't. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think I should do it on the live stream, probably. But but it's so funny. Maybe, maybe <laughs> it is funny. Find it. Where's it at? I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll keep looking. I'll keep All looking. Right. We can start the other stuff. Meanwhile, yeah, let's check out some awesome art here. There we got it. Pause for me one second while I, I, hey, Rob, I don't think I got your second email that we talked about, um, but I do have the first one, so I can kind of, I can kind of go through that. Um, yeah, we'll make it work. All right. Let's go. Let me get my screen working here. There we go. So, um, yeah, Rob has been doing... Um, this He-Man comic for a long time. He's been working on this thing. It's it's sort of a fan He-Man comic, his own vision of it. And I think that's super cool that he's just put a ton of work into this, like his own vision for this. I really want someone to pick this book up and just make it a, a reality. But currently, you can definitely check it out. Rob, if you have any links or anything you'd like me to share, let me double check the email to make sure they're not in there, I guess. But um, yeah, anything you want to tell us about it, let us know. We'd love to share some information. But meanwhile, this is a super cool uplit shot mm -hmm. of He-Man. And he will it, kill you all. That's the first page? That's the first page I have okay. here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we want to go through them all and then go back or, or just talk about each one? Or how, how should we handle that? What do you think? 
I don't, I'm not sure. First, first of all, I want to say I love the lighting on this hand right here. Just having it fall into blackness like that. That's cool. It's a good shot. It's a uh, powerful. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish. So. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying, like, I kind of wish it was like a little bit more of an upshot. I mean, I'm a fan of upshots, but just to make it feel. Yeah, like... yeah, you love the upshots. Yeah, I do. Yeah, no, that's something that's <laughs> super hard that you've always been good at, like the the extreme foreshortening of something, which is kind of mm -hmm. what I was talking about earlier. Like what I was saying, I I used to try putting. Like that was one of the lessons is putting a figure in a box in perspective and then trying to like carve it out almost like you're doing a sculpture of a figure inside of this box um and it was just so hard to get that foreshortening that extreme mm -hmm. um it almost anytime i did it, it almost always fell kind of flat um so yeah no that that does make a lot of sense it would be cool to see this like the camera dropped just a little bit um but it's it's still cool. Like it's a really cool mm -hmm. shot. I love the lighting on it. I like his abs. It's, he's got good looking abs. Good lighting on the yeah. abs as well. Good sense and of anatomy. Fur, <laughs> the fur on his belt and boots. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. that, I have always kind of seen that in, in Rob's stuff. He's got good lighting. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job, Rob. All right. Here's page two. It's a good flow of panels. I like having that open panel right here. Let me make sure I'm pointing at what I'm pointing at. Okay, there we go. Yep, this panel right here. Having an open panel that does break up the storytelling and kind of brings a focal point. Again, I like the lighting on He-Man here where he's got, you know, just falling into shadow like that. That's cool. Good kind of uh, placement of the, you know, solid black areas. See, this is cool. I kind of like this shot here. Mm -hmm. I guess I can zoom in. Hey, we can zoom in here. Hey. There we go. What do you think, honey? Oh, I'm, yeah, I was just looking at if you could scroll up a little bit. Scroll up? Yeah. Like at the, yeah. I was just kind of looking at like the the flow of it, trying to see, like, I, I noticed he, he varies how close the characters are, you know, how far back things are, which is really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, like, good you point. Know, you got yeah. medium, you got far back, right. you got close up, and, you know, they're all different sizes, so that makes it a lot yeah. more interesting to look at. Yeah, and, and like, this good shot, close up right yeah. here, that's cool, mm -hmm. yeah. That's a tough shot. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. You did great. Oh, here's one thing I'm going to get on you about, Rob. I don't like the placement of this tail of this lettering here. Pretty please move that off his eyeball. Pretty please. <laughs> <laughs> that's all, though. That's, that's just that one thing. And that's just a nitpicky the... letterer. That's just me being a nitpicky letterer. And the, I like how the lady looks. She's She looks strong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pretty good posture, yeah. Love the muscles on He-Man, looking good. All right, go to the next page. Really great silhouette in this top panel here. I like that. Let me zoom in again. Yeah, that, I really like that too. You did a good job. Oh, by the way, I should really mention Rob also has a YouTube channel uh, where he looks through uh, typically older comics, like 90s comics and stuff. Uh, and I love his reviews. I love how he goes through all the, all the little details. A lot of them he doesn't like. Some of them he does. I wouldn't say a lot of them. He's pretty fair with his opinion of, you know, what's good and what's bad. I like, I like seeing what he, what he thinks about those. The only thing is he needs to stop tapping the comic with pencil. He's going to draw all over that comic. You know what I'm talking about, Rob. <laughs> Just tapping all over. Sorry, what were you gonna say, honey? I think I talked over you there. Oh no, I don't think I don't think he did. So the top panel I, I really love because he frames it so well. You see how it goes from like the head, you know, down his yeah. arm and then back up the your right. yeah, you can go all the way from yep. shield and you know, so your eye just kind of goes left to right and then you see her standing there. It's just 
really well done. And, you know, yeah. in the background, he's got the bricks framing them. And yeah, I like that panel. This one, the, the I guess, panel four, the little silhouette. Um, yeah. I'm assuming that's the guy with the sword, the, but right, I can't yeah. really tell. I'm not really sure, like, if, if yeah. he has a helmet on or if it's oh, the guy. Yeah. I mean, I assume it's the guy. So, right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean there. Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, I like that it's mostly black, but it, there could maybe be a little hint of something else or something to ground it a little bit. Like maybe even a little uh, brick in the background or, or something. I don't know. I don't know. Something there. Or maybe the placement of the sword or something could be adjusted to make the silhouette um, a little more dynamic. That, that could maybe help with it. What do you think, Brent? I think that that's a good panel to point out. That one you were pointing out, the little silhouette. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I would have known who that was either. If, if he, like, responded in that panel, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I mean, it does, it, it, does, it does make sense that if these two are talking, that's probably him in the, in the panel. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I, I do see the visual kind of conflict that i have i have there mm -hmm. i love this uh, this shot right here this is a cool dynamic yeah, shot good job. good job with the arm the four the arm going back like that mm -hmm. kind of frazetta ish i would say almost it's pretty powerful again with the good up lighting i'm not what's gonna happen oh yeah she has like the helmet okay yeah oh that's Ooh. actually something is uh Maybe not. I was gonna say, would we see? Would we see maybe part of this? Uh, we wouldn't call it a helmet, but head headpiece. But maybe maybe we wouldn't see it. I was thinking maybe we could see it there, but maybe not. I think that's passable. I think it's yeah, yeah. But well, I, yeah, I, I really like, this like it. Profile shot. That's looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. And the sword. Sword yep. coming at her. Is it? Oh, supposed I to be I will say I didn't. I didn't catch the sword, which that might just be my fault, but um, I do see the action lines. I'm wondering. I'm guessing it's stopping. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. It's actually like going to be chopped in half. Unless it's kind of, yeah, that's maybe something that is. I don't maybe know is unclear. It could be being stopped or it could be like we're in the moment of action where it's moving. Mm -hmm. That's probably what it is, I guess. Um, that can maybe be a little more clear, but it's still a cool panel. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, I got to remember how many how many panels we got here, so I can keep an eye on one of them. Rob, are you still in the chat here? All right, this is a cool. Uh, so I, I was going to ask if uh, if you got me that revised page or not revised, but you know what I mean, that one page. So hey, we got some splatter on this one. I like that. Is this a uh, traditional or digital? I say it's probably traditional, right? Yeah, I think so. Let me get real close. It's hard to tell these days. Yeah, I, could. <laughs> I know. I like I the just... middle. I like the middle panel underneath these. Let's see here. It separates. It's like a frame. Yeah, frame. yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, with the black mm -hmm. kind of, and then leaving the white areas. That's neat. Well done. This is a cool shot too. Mm hmm. No more, oh, no more. I like that face. No more lies. Lots of good emotion. You got yeah. going on. Good mm -hmm. blood here. Lots of movement in panel two with him. Like he really feels like he's pulling back his sword. You know, he's arching back and all that. Yeah. Yeah, good like uh, posture with the back and everything. I l I really like the uh, shines on the metal here. That's cool. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna real quick click the next one. Okay, we're safe. All right, <laughs> there we go. I think that might be the last one I can click to before I double check some things. But um, let's see. Let's go a little closer. There we go. Okay, now we can see full panel. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good energy lines with the energy coming off of the attack there. That's cool. So 
So is this her? So, I'm wondering if this is her powers or if that's some of the background coming through. But it, it looks cool either way. We got. Uh, I was looking at the panel, the close up of the lady up there. I yeah, kind of feel like I wish there was more definition to her eyes a bit. I mean, maybe that's oh. maybe just me, but just a little bit more to show, like because you can see her <laughs> eyebrows. You know, like the hairs on her eyebrows. So, like, it's having some eyelashes, or I mean, unless she's not. Oh, some eyelashes. Them, you know, okay. if she's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, but yeah, that I think that would add something. And then that yeah, uh, that good. second panel looks really awesome. I love her pose and everything. It's this really one here? cool. Yeah. I just wish it was a little bigger. I don't know. It feels like it was supposed to be a. Oh, like a bigger like shot a, on the. I'm doing powers. You know. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a little overlapping or something. If this figure was maybe a little bit bigger, um, overlapping. You could even have her overlapping up here and over here to kind of flow. That's an opinion, though. I don't know. But, like, um, I usually, I mean, it's just me again. Like, we're all different artists, yeah. you know. But, like, I usually try to, that. yeah. Usually, like, when I'm laying out a page or something, I'll pick, like, one focal panel. Like, what's the most important panel here? And you know, that one will be the bigger one. And then you just kind of build the rest kind of, you know, um, around that one. So this one doesn't seem like it has a focal panel, but that, you know, <laughs> again. Yeah, yeah I, I see what you mean. There's sort of the same kind of level to each one. I like the guy on but fire, his face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy, that is, yeah, that's cool. Flames coming off his nose and everything. Another good pose here. You know, that's good foreshortening, good good energy to it. This this figure here feels like it almost needs more rendering, maybe, or, or lighting to it. But that also, again, if you're thinking like coloring, you might not even need that. Um, but it looks good. All yeah, right. great job, Rob. So yeah, so uh, check out Rob's channel. Let me let me see if I can find his channel real quick. I want to give him a little plug because he's been. Do we get the last cool page? Videos. Um, maybe I will double. I'll need to stop sharing for a second to double check that. Uh, let me see here. I'll be back. Stop sharing that. Let me double check. Okay, I do. I, okay, I can share this page here. Here we go. Oh, I didn't see this one. Cool. Well, I go straight to that middle panel, mm -hmm. and I love it. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, I love it. That was good. I, I, but again, like I wish it was like. Oh, that's a good. You know. That's a good shot there too. Mm -hmm. Is that Skeletor? I think. Or, or, oh, yeah. Emerson. Yeah, I wonder if we. Let's go back to this one. So it's. Yeah, I, I would have to read it more closely to, to know that, but um, looks cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is getting nose and stuff, so maybe, yeah. Yeah, I would love to learn more about uh, your um, overall story idea for this. It seems really cool. I love this shot. That's just a cool, powerful shot. Mm -hmm. I like the lighting. Kind of the middle, middle lighting, like he's being lit from behind. Zoom in on the awesome face. <laughs> this is crazy face. Yeah, I, Which well, one? The, this one the, the, that guy, the bottom, one? very bottom panel. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. I just wanted Ooh, to I like his, I like awesome the teeth too. coming through the lips and stuff. That's mm -hmm. good. And look, hatching, Ray. I know, I like the hatching. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Good old hatching. That is a and nice all the page. splatter. That's cool. Like if I was, like if I were drawing the page, like I would probably think of maybe sticking that elbow up 
in that last panel, mm -hmm. you know, just just into that, I guess that would be what the fifth panel of her of the of the woman, you know, doing her powers. That's yeah. just, that's just me. Maybe a few flames and stuff. It just it what, helps. What like, were you saying there? What, say that again. What, were, what would you do there? I missed. Uh, it kind of glitched out for me. What were you saying could happen there? Oh, just like in that last panel there, like yeah. at the bottom. Oh, the like okay. if you, yeah, if like if it was tilted a bit, so his elbow was crossing over the border a bit into the fifth panel oh, where yeah. the woman is. It just yeah, like it would add movie. a nice like. I mean, it already kind of does it, but if it was you know overlapping a bit with some flames, it would make the whole thing pop more, and it would like lead from panel five to panel six like even better, I guess. But yeah, you know. no, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it would look it would look good to have that elbow popping over. You wouldn't want it necessarily on this panel, but if yeah, it not was, on that one. The, yeah, you'd have to like tilt it cool. maybe or something. Yeah, that's but good. I like it. Lots of energy. And overall, yeah, oh, really cool layout. Mm -hmm. You kind of get the beats, and then the sped up kind of three panels here, and then the big shot. So I like that. All right. For some reason, his channel is not popping up for me when I search for it, even though I am subscribed and I watch a lot of his videos, but. If you look, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll find it for you and try to put it in the description or something. But, all right, so why don't we, we have one more artist to uh, kind of check out and then we should probably get to wrap it up. And, yeah, we better wrap it up pretty soon. We've been going quite a while. This was, this was a good 30 minutes. Yeah, great, <laughs> great short video we did here. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> Oh, and uh, that, was, that was something we planned, too. If anybody has any questions or anything like that while you're watching, we'd be happy to uh, answer them or ignore them. Maybe we'll do that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Let me get to the other art. Oh, yeah. This was the um, this art uh, in the email. If you're watching the, in the email, this uh, didn't show up as large files. So they, they do kind of look blurry. Um but let me make sure I got them all open here and I'll I'll go through them. It looks like it might be uh, for like a webtoon style uh, or formatted comic, kind of a long vertical comic. Web webtoon? Yeah. It looks like it's that kind of style probably. Start, Have you ever uh, done webtoon style, Brent? Um, what do you mean? Like, like <laughs> vertical scrolling, you know? Like, like the, uh, yeah. No. No, I, I know what you mean. No, no, I haven't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, you know the rise could very easily just turn into a web a webtoon. Yeah, I was just thinking daily calendar. The rise actually works perfect. Oh, daily calendar, right? Yeah. Instagram because it's a square, like each panel. Right, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I should just have an Instagram. You're a genius. <laughs> You're a genius, man. A daily account of that man's life. <laughs> do that so all right I, mean, he was. I know i want to i i guess you kind of learned information about him right like you kind of know because you were at you were well we won't get into it as well but <laughs> don't get away. sorry i just want to talk about rise I can't, I can't openly talk about it yet can't wait for that book to come out then i'm going to talk about it a real lot all right so um it is a bit blurry i'm not sure how well you guys can see it but um yeah. One thing I've noticed about this guy's work or this person's work, I don't uh, don't know, but um, is interesting foreshortening. I really like the foreshortening on stuff. Let me find um, like uh, like here, like this kind of long foreshortening that mm -hmm. really does kind of work. Yeah, you went for it. Bring the clip clock. I always respect when people go for that perspective. You know, like the tough shot. So yeah, nice. it definitely seems like it flows well. I would say, and just yeah, this angle is cool. Mm -hmm. Let me go back over this one. All right, we got a good establishing shot. I like the shot of like a security guard or whoever this is, you know, walking through the building. Good shadows. Good shadows. Yeah, I, I like, like how the mountains shadow. are handled back here. Cool. I will say maybe this paneling um, 
it might work better if it was kind of overlapping this to where you kind of understand how to read because i i kind of want to go yeah. down and then i go oh yeah there's these so maybe if these were overlapping that would then you would attribute it to the that panel maybe i'm assuming yeah. that's what he was going yeah. for and the fact that like this one is kind of like this one's further away from it than this one is so that and these are real close together so it makes my eye want to go down there that's something to do with gutters you know the in the spaces in between panels that can do a lot of storytelling too um time passage things like that that's something i used to do i mean i still do but i guess i think about it less when i do it but when i was uh younger i would i would kind of take the time to think like if i make this panel gutter wider then that um denotes maybe more time passing or a longer pause in between each one if they're closer together that's a little faster mm -hmm. um so that's something to think about because like for me yeah like these two are so close together i go straight down and then this one's yeah. kind of further away and it all and if you could go back up just a second sure. but like that the panel well the bottom right the whole bottom right area there that has the the ticking clock it feels yeah. very empty like it, it feels like yeah, something this, this could have been there yeah like even yeah. if it was like extending the current panels out a bit you know so yeah. then it would overlap you know yeah that's so. a good idea like stretching the panels the full width of the area and then just having this be an inset panel on on top of it in between the two maybe give a, a wider space between these two to kind of draw the eye then we get a what, cool explosion what uh, maybe add like a sound effect, a ticking sound effect in between them or something. Kind of like the clip yeah, yeah. in the first page. Yeah, like the clip flop. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea. Yeah, that would also, that would also, oh, yeah. yeah, they could even put that there to kind of draw the eye. Like if we had, a, I mean, is wait, is this lettered? Maybe this page isn't lettered yet. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, so this, well, it might not even need lettering or I mean, other than like the sound effect, I mm -hmm. guess. So. Yeah, a TikTok there would would definitely, or just tick, you know tick. sell what they're trying to do there. And the yeah. car, I can't tell if that's a really big car or. <laughs> but I, yeah, well, yeah, I would say that um, it does seem large in proportion to the person. Maybe mm -hmm. um, cars are tricky. You know the the getting the perspective that's another one of those where i i spent so much time trying to figure out how to draw a car and how to make the perspective work how to make the like you know because you start off doing kind of a box and then trying to carve away segments to get the curves and and things like that and it's it's tricky um once i learned like the uh sort of how to measure things like how many wheels long a car is how many wheels tall it is that kind of helped um but even then it's it it can get real tricky um it would be nice to see a little bit of detail in the rims and stuff um in the grill um i like the glow on the headlights that's looking good i was also going to say i like the um the shadow on the uh mountains back here and on the building whatever you call those mm -hmm. tower smokestacks probably not i don't know <laughs> uh, <laughs> good looking explosion here um could do a sound effect but you don't necessarily need that they feel it, that that it, i mean it looks pretty good there like you you feel it but it kind of feels like it's like contained explosion a little bit like it's not going out as much like maybe yeah like some little out. i mean these are yeah these are probably I mean, windows i would imagine it, but mm. yeah I would guess these were windows that were bursting out. So it would be yeah. good to, to see something that kind of like, lets you know. I mean, you kind of see them over here, but like see something that like, lets you know that windows are exploding here. It, again, it's low resolution, so it's kind of hard to see, but um, there might be some shards of glass here, but maybe, maybe a bit more or something flying towards the camera so you know like mm -hmm. here's glass, here's part of the window frame coming at you, stuff like that. And yeah, great like shot panel. at the bottom. Yeah, the bottom shot. That's super cool. I love that. Just that you get to see the headlights. You get to see the building exploding. You see him in the reflection. I really like the lighting on it. Very well done. Let's check out. Let's go back to the next page here. Oh, and, and 
Brent, if you need to go or anything, let us know. Like if, if you're you need to get, <laughs> kind of kidnapped you know? I really for worked, a very yeah. long time. It ended up being I'm longer sorry. than I thought, so <laughs> let me know. I know you have painting to do. But so here is uh yeah, so cool dynamic shot here. I like the foreshortening on the on the body quite a bit actually. Um almost has a Mobius feel to it or something here. Um, the clip clop is good, like Brent pointed out. I like I like the shots, you know, the paneling, the back and forth with the characters going in closer. The guys, um, the that man there. Yeah. Uh, Here? Yeah. It, yeah. Like where his head ends, it feels a little like how his chin is way down, but like the top of his head is just kind of like grazing the top of the panel. Yeah. It just feels like it could have been, you know, framed just a little bit, a little bit better. It, yeah, like a little, um, maybe raise him up a little bit to cut mm -hmm. his head off a little bit more. When when you cut off just a yeah. tiny bit of the head, it can uh, almost look like a tangent. Um, but that is an effective thing to do. Like you see a lot of movies or like how I am right now, you know, my head's cut off at the top. Um, that is good framing, but yeah, you might just want to do a, a little bit more or a little bit less one way or the other to, to kind of make it look a little more. The previous page had the, the car was kind of touching the. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Go up. It was, kind of, the, right. it was kind of flat along the bottom of that panel too. Like, yeah, yeah, that's a good oh, yeah, yeah that, right. that line right there is that is kind of just sitting right on the panel border. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. something you want to try to to avoid. Um, just having things right because yeah, like it does look pretty good having it cut off there because then you get the sense that it's driving away, mm -hmm. but it just needs to be a little bit more so that it's not like sitting right on that line. Good catch, yeah. Anything about this, Brent? Do you have a comment about that page? That one, I think, I don't see too many tangents or anything. It, it works, it flows, I think. Yeah. Cool. But other than that heads, I mean, that doesn't bother me that much. Oh, yeah? <laughs> but, but I can see what you're saying. The sound effect's kind of crammed in there, I guess, kind of. Yeah. That's what's good. I like that you have the sound effect going behind the guy, though. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. All right. I like the lighting on this guy. Um, one one thing I would say is when you're when you're doing perspective. I mean, granted, surfaces like ground surfaces can be different levels, but what what I get from this is that this guy's at eye level, but then the, he would be at this guy's chest level. Um, one trick to do is if you, if you're drawing figures in perspective, um, if you if your horizon line is at eye level, then everyone should be about at eye level going back into the distance or forward. You know, if you have someone in the, in the foreground, like here or something, you would still want it to be at their eye level. Um, so there's some, actually, I don't know if you can even find these, but there's a really good tutorial of that by Greg Capullo. Uh, from when he was doing Crash Course in Wizard Magazine. It's the only time I've ever seen it, but he had a really good um, uh, method of kind of lining up characters in space like that. Um, or like if, you're, if your uh, horizon line is up high, you kind of count down how many heads high or how many heads away from the horizon line that character is. And then all other characters would be the same. Even if their head's big, they would be the same amount of heads away from the horizon line. Or, or above it if they're if the horizon line is low um that was kind of a trick i wish i could find that i probably can't find that right now but um that was a really good tutorial if you look it might be online somewhere you know there might be a scan of it or something i have heard greg capullo is putting together all the crash courses actually into an art book oh, nice. so hopefully that'll be coming soon those all of those were like invaluable sources for you wouldn't you wouldn't expect it because most of what people gravitated to with those were his like cool arm drawing tutorials, which is how I learned how to draw arms. So you can kind of see that in my stuff, but um, his perspective and the way he handled scenes and stuff was really good. So if you can seek that out, I would recommend it. Here's the next page. Oh, he's getting this. Oh, and I don't know if, 
Okay, let me check to see. While you guys are looking at this, I'm going to check to see if this guy or person had any... Um, By the uh, way, his name on likes. Twitter is Mojobo. Like M-O-J-O-B-O. Okay. So if you at, at him, you know, check out his work. Okay, yeah, on Twitter, at Mojobo. Was, is that... Mm-hmm. I believe okay. it's just Mojobo, yeah. Okay, great. Um, um, yeah, I don't have any links for him or anything to. I think he may have put him on Twitter. If you if you might want to take a peek to see, he had a, a comic that uh, it had a name. I don't. It's not in my memory right now. But if honey, if you wouldn't okay. mind checking that out, it would be good to share that. I like the continuation of the clip clop. I like saying clip clop as well. <laughs> shing, that's a good shing. Okay. Oh, and yeah, like, again, here, like, I like this kind of elongated foreshortening. It's it's almost like, you know, makes me think of, like, Aeon Flux or something like that. So that's kind of interesting. A lot of people might look at that and say, um, you know, you want to you wanna do it less distorted um, because the standard way to draw is to make things more realistic, more, um, you know, less exaggerated essentially that's how a lot of people draw and they say you gotta kind of tone it back but i would actually stay with this and you know just refine it because it's interesting it's something different than what i might see somewhere else the only thing here is that this uh leg over here there should be a little bit of overlap right here to where it really feels like it's uh you know the other leg on the other side of the body um but it's a cool shot. I think I think it all does draw the eye into this character. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Would you be interested in a new sword? <laughs> um, this this arm oh, over wait, here before, too. Before before I forget yeah. it, I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, Johnny, I believe this is Johnny Power or Johnny Long mm-hmm. and the Colors of Power. Johnny this Long. What and he the... told me. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Johnny Long and the Colors of Power. Is that what you said? Yes. Let me double check. Sorry, it's going to turn it off every time I check Twitter. Okay, and the next one we got yeah. is in color, which is cool. So, let me see. I got to share? Okay. So, right off the bat, I really like this color scheme with the purple and orange, and, and the brown actually kind of works with it. Um, let's go in closer. I like how long this panel is. You know, that really draws. Yeah, if you were kind of in here like this, like a webtoon, that's kind of a cool mm-hmm. scroll, you know? Yeah, it is cool. The, that one panel there that you're on. This there, one? Um, yeah. Yeah, I like how, uh, the, how thin the panel is and how the background is the same color as the background in the previous panel. Oh, yeah, like there's kinda... a tangent right here. Um, you might even... I mean, it might even work if you just raised, if this is the horizon line, if you just raised it up a little bit, that would kind of get rid of that, that tangent that you're getting between these two panels. That's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. I like her. I like the girl's face. That looks really cool. Yeah. (laughs) Good job. I like the lighting right here with the, I don't, uh, I'm assuming the lamp would be off and he's being lit from like a doorway or, or something to that effect, but. Um, I think it works really good. And again, this is kind of a good panel with that character. Mm-hmm. Oh, and her hiding over here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and that this, now that I know that she's hiding right there, this looks like a really menacing shot. Like how kind of mm-hmm. over his shoulder and how big he looks. Creepy. Yeah, creepy. <laughs> So something about the Chicago killer, I think is what they say. The Chicago killer is still at large. I'm guessing it's that guy. The killer was also a woman. Oh, it's revealed it wasn't the creepy guy. It was the woman under the desk waiting dun, dun, dun. to kill the big guy. <laughs> All right. I fell for it. That was good. Good reveal. What do you think about, like, just how they use the same color in all the backgrounds? Like, does that... Yeah, yeah. Like, the walls and the floor and the panel backgrounds? Yeah, for sure I would try to um, either darken or lighten that purple, maybe, or, like, uh, something like that. Or, like, maybe, well, hmm. there's kind of a lot of ways you you could work with that, but definitely separating it from the the main kind of 
background purple that we go we see throughout all these um yeah if those were a little separated that would, that would uh, help those to to separate better so um but overall i think that's a pretty cool page yeah and kind of a one one page story really that's kind of cool so all right mojo Bo. well done i know good job thanks for being think, patient too he i yeah. mentioned this like well, two months ago or something and, oh right right yeah yeah so thank you for waiting and it only took us Thanks a few hours to get your art, through. Rob too. <laughs> yes, thank you, Rob and Mojobo, for uh, sharing your art with us. Um, everybody, go check out their their handles. Rob Norton. Oh. I'm sure you can find him. I'm having trouble finding him on YouTube, but you shouldn't if you look hard enough. He is there. What was that? What? <laughs> oh, it sounded like you were starting to say something. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I'm we're all tired. probably getting tired at this point. <laughs> <laughs> we did a lot of chatting and then finally got to the the art reviews. So <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions further that, you know, you would want us to kind of uh, talk about with uh, these pages or any other pages, we'd be happy to take a look at. Oh, wow. I just suddenly got a ton of chats from Rob. Sorry, let's go through oh, did this. They just I don't know why up? they just... Did yeah, they just all it? popped up at the same oh. time. Oh, well, here's one. So a Spawn Spider-Man crossover drawn by McFarlane would sell huge numbers. It absolutely would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's weird that these all just popped up right now. I wonder what happened there. Maybe I need to refresh it. That's why. I'm new to the stream yard. Apologies. Um, Rob said he did send the re-edit same email. Let me see if I can find that page real quick before we cut off here. Yeah, it's not, I'm not seeing like a, ref let me just refresh the whole thing and see if that does anything. Sorry if I'm missing it, Rob, but I, yeah, I'm not, not seeing a second email attached to that. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. It was that. a good page. I did see it though, it was, Rob, yeah. and I really, really liked it. Yeah, we did look at it. We You're did like a... it. Oh, Rob, you don't got to be nervous, Rob. You're not You're a, a nobody. You've been, you've been working on awesome. this really hard You did great time. work. I really liked it. You're not a nobody. You're Be a Be proud of yourself. You and now he's great, asking, can you see my comments? comments? No, I couldn't see them. Sorry about <laughs> and he said such valuable advice, guys. I hope you think so. <laughs> Sorry we'll that we better, didn't see your comments for Not so as tired. <laughs> that was super weird. Yeah, no, they just all of a sudden just went blunk all, all in a row. I thought he had just sent a bunch right now, but they were all from yeah. a while ago. I'm just seeing them all pop up too. Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah, as you're okay, saying, I'm seeing them pop up. You're not just me. Okay. Yeah. But we got it. Thank you very much, Rob. Hope you do appreciate the, the advice we attempted to give here. I want to get more uh, digital levers in here. Yeah, that would be fun. I just want yeah. to talk to them. <laughs> you know, it's been yeah. a long time. And yeah, Brent, to anybody who doesn't. Yeah. What's that? Sorry. And Brent was on there. and Brent was on there. Monkey boy. Part of Golden Goat Studios. Mm -hmm. He's a Golden Goat. <laughs> Back in the day. Yeah, Monkey Boy. Man, I love that comic. You yeah. got to put that, that out. Again. In... Yeah, someday. <laughs> <laughs> when? When are we going to do this? <laughs> I know. Well, I bet after you're done with Rise. And then you got yeah. your other comic that I'm so excited to see happen. I don't Maybe. know what you want to say Maybe. about it, but <laughs> not that secret. 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 You don't get to know anything about Brent's stuff. Hey, I just noticed also that everybody's banners disappeared. Oh yeah. God. Oh yeah, oh, they're, they're all what? they're all gone. I'd have to recreate them though. Uh, our our banners where it says our names and stuff they oh. those disappeared. That's okay. Those <laughs> Such a noob. Oh, uh, when I highlight a comment, all of our names disappear. So essentially, me see, watch me giving Rob some attention just takes away from us. Yeah, let's, let's <laughs> not do that anymore. Get out of here, Rob. <laughs> no, thank you very much, Rob. Thank you for coming. Thanks for sending our your artwork. And um, I guess that's it for today. Send more if you guys artwork. have been, yeah, send Everybody more artwork. Send more artwork. Yeah, for anybody mm -hmm. who's watching uh, or anyone watching in the future, you know, when it's on YouTube. Uh, 
please do send some art. Uh, you can go to uh, send it to newquestcomics at gmail.com. If you would like us to review it on here, we'll we'll do that. So uh, it, it, I should say sequential artwork. Any comics that you have, sequential artwork, we'd be happy to check them out and give whatever advice we can give. So, all right. We should probably wrap things up. Again, we had Brent Ingstrom, one of my favorite people in the whole entire universe. <laughs> one of my earliest inspirations. The Garbage Pail Kids artist for the last 20 years about now. Um, and uh, check him out on Instagram. I'm going to pull that up again real quick here. Look, <laughs> You're going to look at the rain. I'm just going to look at the rain somewhere. Yeah. Let's just look at more Brent. I Let's watch that. Another yeah. 50. You're, you're up for that, right, Brent? Like an hour of just the rain. Yeah, I'll look, at, that. I'll look at my <laughs> for an hour. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> Let's get your start, own artwork for now. We need to start playing the Justin Timberlake song. Oh, yeah. Like, over and over and over again all night. <laughs> That's how long ago we were hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How, how, how cards that? Though. And that was brand new. <laughs> Some people watching might not even know who Justin Timberlake is. That's how old we are. I guess all right, know. So, Go ahead. No, people probably know Justin Timberlake. <laughs> All right, here is Brent's artwork. He's amazing. Go follow him. You can also go to monkeyboycomic.blogspot.com. I'll check that out. Oh, I love this. I forgot about this. Yeah, check that out. This, this oh, drawing I forgot, you did I forgot yourself, about so cool. that drawing. It's so cool. That was for the Hollywood Zombies. You remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hollywood Zombies. That was a Tops, Tops card yeah. set. Or was it a card set or was it? It was, it was a card yeah. set. Yeah, yeah. It, it didn't like it didn't take off like they thought so there was only one set and it never never went yeah. on it almost it was, cool, was like though. it was a weird point where zombies were getting popular from like the walking dead comic and stuff and then i think it was right before the tv shows it was before the tv show started so the craze hadn't fully taken hold or something yeah so it just missed the mark a little yeah, bit it, like was in the middle of it i don't know it's kind of weird they were cool really? though i really liked all those I really like going to like uh, the store and seeing your stuff. <laughs> we were like, hey, Brent yeah. did that, and Brent did that. <laughs> everywhere. That was back when they had like Mad Magazine and stuff that I, Nickelodeon Magazine. Now that, now I don't have anything in the store other than Garbage Pail Kids. <laughs> like it's yeah. the weird out there. <laughs> well, and what about Wacky Pack? Then you got what store? Store? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wacky Pack. Wackies. Those, those haven't been in stores in a while. Those are all sold out. Oh. But I think. Maybe someday they'll put them back in stores. I hope they do. Look at this creepy baby. Oh, the pictures. <laughs> oh, I've missed your pictures. Oh, yeah. Tender family photos. <laughs> oh, I, I I'll love perfect. this. Look at that. Oh. That was for like a sketch card set, I think. Like a, or I was wondering. A yeah. Marvel sketch set. I don't know. All oh, those that go. Oh, yeah, look at those. I remember those. I haven't updated this blog in probably like 10 years. Really? <laughs> I don't know. I forgot I even had a link to it on my Instagram. Oh, yeah, here's some Hollywood zombies. Yeah. I did mostly I concepts, but I only painted one of them. I like The Hobbit. Oh, yeah. That was, uh, oh, yeah. That was I always thought it was cool you were using like uh cray- crayola or whatever markers for for all your cards but they looked so great i remember thinking it's like we were using copics and they were so expensive and i was like maybe i could do that and anytime i would try it would just look like garbage like nothing and yours always looked like they were professionally colored it's like how are they doing it that was even like this like isn't this is this stuff digital or is this markers that's marker see what how how'd you do that it's from draw, magical draw, beans. When I was a, a little kid. Just yeah. <laughs> learned how to get I, the lines out. Yeah. Man, <laughs> markers made me so frustrated when I was a kid. I could yeah. never, they were too dark, too like, they would bleed too much. Too I would make the mistake of drawing or coloring over the ink like your art teacher was telling you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it it that, always yeah. bleed the marker ink out. Mm-hmm. Oh, so yeah. I, so I like, I never thought to color at first i would just bleed the ink out every time <laughs> so this, i just found like uh my the brushed ink wouldn't bleed so but i would try copics on it and it would bleed it out so that's why i switched mm-hmm. back over to the old markers because it like really so you was, tried copics and yeah. you just didn't like them as much that's awesome <laughs> that's awesome and also it saved a bunch of money 
right totally yeah that's <laughs> half the reason i'm i'm doing watercolor it's like i like topics but it's just the the cost and the you gotta yeah. keep getting them you know like it's like get kind of the same effects with watercolors <laughs> what, what's in it that causes it to bleed like there's a i think they're out al alcohol, alcohol base. yeah, yeah alcohol, alcohol base you think uh Mm -hmm. yeah especially if you use like micron pens or something that ink doesn't hold as well so like i found mm -hmm. when i was coloring it it just i just started making it all black yeah yeah i had to do really when i was doing sketch cards and whatever i would have to do just the thinnest line yeah and then color and then i would thicken up the line afterwards you know with, with a brush or whatever to to get the ink to work but um yeah no that's it's crazy that those are just like walmart markers you know <laughs> but yeah like even That's even right. i had gotten a set of prismacolor markers when i was a kid, like the nice ones mm -hmm. um you know uh, uh, our our friends jeremy and john got them for me for my birthday one time and i just could never make them look like anything like it just it just would bleed through it would just be too dark you know except for like a red i would use that for blood sometimes maybe but i just never never could get them to work right so <laughs> markers topics work pretty well for me but too much anyway here's all of brent's amazing art. so oh this is a, a character that you created for um yeah, was it mad uh, magazine yeah billy, billy blevins am i saying billy that? yeah billy Blevins. Blevins. Yeah. for mad magazine then that's a character they're still using right um i they haven't used i mean they haven't used him since i did it <laughs> Oh, I thought you had shown me a like he was on a cover or something recently where they like it was like a collage cover and they, um, they reused. I guess they reused my drawing. They, I mean, it's yeah. no one else has ever drawn. Yeah, he was on a few covers because they reprinted. They reprinted all the ones I did. There was only a That's few. Cool. That's cool. I love that you've been a part of like so many things that like a new generation of kids are going to grow up like. Oh yeah, I love that thing. You know, garbage book kids yeah. or. You know, Billy Blevins or whatever wacky packages. I've only had like one person write me that's an adult now that read Nickelodeon magazine when I did it. <laughs> that's like in their twenties now. Right. <laughs> just, yeah. just reminds me of her daughter. <laughs> I appreciate this one a lot. Hopefully, she won't watch this in twenty she years. She's so like, oh, happy just about it too. She's just like yes. letting it rip. They're all happy about what they're doing. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, like, look, look, look how happy this fellow is. That's a happy <laughs> dog. Take a bite out of crime. <laughs> Strawberry see, shortcake. See, again, even in your painting, I love the little hatchy lines. Yeah. yeah that, that feathering how, of paint. I don't know how to paint. <laughs> well, I would I would argue with that. I think you do. I just draw. You just have your own style. That's all. I just all. draw with paint. <laughs> it works. <laughs> They're awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So, Brian Ingstrom, make sure you follow him. You probably already are. Look at that follower count on Nick's Instagram. He's, He's killing super it. Star. Superstar. Superstar. Oh, and also, oh, yeah, I was going to try to find the Weird Al comic real quick. I want to show people that. You recently did. Oh, yeah. yeah, here it is. Okay, so let me share that. He recently did a story in this Weird Al comic book. And an ad is popping up in front of everything. Get out of here. All right. I wonder if your stuff's on here. It might not be. It's just that I have some minutes. pages on Instagram, just so if you scroll down a little bit. Oh, yeah? But, I'll have to look for those, too. But a, this is a book you can go buy. So everybody go buy this book and get Brent's comic in it. Eisner, Eisner Award nominated. Right. Yeah. Hey, we got an Eisner nominated artist here. Best Let me find. I'm going to scroll down here. I guess I can switch back to this one. I wonder if that'll work. Let's find it. Yeah, when do, when the has have the Eisner art? Uh, um, it's at at uh, San Diego Comic Con, whatever that. Oh, is. so next month, next probably. Month. Yeah. All right. Let's find. Are you gonna go? No. Oh come on! Good. You gotta be go. there. Hold up your no. trophy. I'm assuming it's a trophy. <laughs> it's a trophy. I think the editor gets the trophy. It's a big cup. What? You know. <laughs> oh, the editor. Everybody yeah, the editor should have a trophy. <laughs> have the honor. <laughs> you will. I don't know. I feel even standing you have so me. much art. <laughs> this is just amazing. Scroll down a little. It, it yeah. wasn't so that long ago. Right. Yeah, just, got the Joker. I like the Joker. Where's that at? It's up on it. Oh, yeah. Right. That's great. 
Speaking of trophies yeah. and awards. <laughs> yeah. What? I haven't liked that one. Fix that. <laughs> yeah, can you go I back love, and like all these? Here. What's that? Can you go through and like all these? I absolutely. I would be happy to do that. <laughs> Renee, can you do the same thing? <laughs> yeah, what, but, no. Let's do it like them all. God, this one creeps me out. Look, already like. See? This one creeps me out so much. Just the idea that she's putting her fingers through her head like that. Gross. But she's so happy. She's so happy about it. Kind of reminds me of Claire a little bit. Here we go. Here we go. Here's one of them. I might not liking that one. So here's one of the pages. Yes, the first page. I love I love the style on this. Just make that as big as possible. That's that. Awesome. that is so cool. And look at the hatching. <laughs> um, look at the hat and the lettering, hand lettered. Yeah, I love I love oh, this yeah. the like kind of wiggly letter thing. Mm -hmm. That's because I don't want to use a ruler. We never really Ooh, mentioned that, but he, his lettering, your lettering is incredible. <laughs> your hand is, lettering. Yeah. How, Brent? <laughs> I I always look at it, think it looks awful. Like I think I shouldn't be doing. No, <laughs> no way. No, I love. It. Actually, your hand lettering is part of why I started hand lettering again. Oh, really? I always liked your hand lettering, yeah. yeah. And I, I just like that it was on the artwork, you know? Yeah, that's uh, why I... I guess that's why I do it, so it all looks... It's all cohesive on the final art, but... Yeah. That's a, that's part of why I kind of want to get back to doing, like, actual art pages and yeah. actually do the lettering on it. Because the only ones I ever did were, like... Like kind of the the Dragosani pages that I was talking about earlier, mm -hmm. some of those like I did the hand lettering on that because I was learning through the Kubert school, and they did it you know on the page and it kind of makes that. it really cool. It makes it a lot harder because you're not just kind of fitting the lettering in. You're like you have to work the lettering around everything. Yeah. Start like it's like a different process, but I don't want my artwork covered up, so I like right. I work on the lettering usually. Yeah. Yeah, that's always hard when you, you know, when you do it digitally because you're you plan it, but then yeah. when you actually are putting the lettering on there, you're like, oh no, I gotta kind of put it over the, this part of a figure or something. Yeah. That you're like, no, it should be all there. those curls, all the curls yeah. that you drew. It's beautiful. I and the coloring too. I like how you you got like kind of an airbrushy kind of feel to it, like it's splattery airbrush kind of. Yeah, I used the airbrush, <laughs> but also you put like a texture over it. I had COVID. Oh, was that how you did it? Okay. I thought you might have had like a an actual splatter brush kind of setting or something you found. No. So that's weird texture over. Okay, cool. It's like well, it dot, worked really well. Like an old school dot. I think you gave me the file <laughs> for the dot. Oh really? Yeah. Oh funny. <laughs> You're yeah. working on something that you used it on and I just took it. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> that's cool. Got another one of these on, on here? Um, there should be more pages if you scroll down a little bit. What's the total count on the Garbage Pail Kids cards? The, the, the kept count, right? Let's see what I got here. Oh, I love it. Never mind. Sorry. 1,169. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> That's so many. I could be scrolling for days here. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. And he will. The Grinch. I love the Christmas. <laughs> Oh yeah, this one. Brent deserves credit for this. I he was the first <laughs> artist I saw before Bill Sinkevich. He's the first artist I saw doing the AI hands thing. Yeah, Brent needs it, credit. It was used in like art, uh, articles and stuff. Like I oh, saw this one was. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool. And then they forgot to put my name in it. <laughs> so uh, they're trying to give the artist credit, and then my name wasn't listed for days. And then... <laughs> Well, I'm going to track down every one of the editors that made those articles. I, I think they ended, they ended up putting my name on it, so they made it right. But oh, okay. It was just That's funny. I, it was like, respect the artist. Don't use AI art. Then that, my name was <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> respect the artist, but not the one that we use this art from. We forget who he even is. <laughs> oh, cool. You got the... <laughs> Look at his hand down here. Oh, Look God. That. <laughs> What's wrong with That's that? Great. Nothing. It looks normal. That's how I uh, see hands too. Your hand looks great, Brent. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Look, I, I don't bite my fingernails anymore. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Look at those healthy fingernails. Yeah. They're nice and healthy. 
<laughs> right, God, there's so many. There's some it. wackies, some wacky packs. Oh yeah, we're or, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wacky packs. <laughs> Look at oh, that Furby. <laughs> I think there is a Furby though. Now, is, oh, <laughs> there probably is. You've probably done that too. Where'd that Furby go? That Furby. Oh, I, I, I thought maybe you, I have done a Furby one. I don't know if you saw it after you're just being a jack. I meant mug one. I don't know why yeah. I said Furby. Oh, yeah. You go and you Furby. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hey, speaking of He Man, they made a, they made a Ooh. Gizmo Furby, though. Oh, did they? Mm -hmm. Later. Oh I, oh, I love it. I never quite understood the Furby thing. There's kind of like, kind of like these Tamagotchis that I'm now seeing. Yeah. yeah I never quite. That's I must have just been the wrong age group or something, but yeah, my uh, disgusting turkey. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, <laughs> smash, smash that like called? button. What's no that? matter how much art I, I've seen of yours, you always surprise me. <laughs> Sometimes it's like this. It's awesome. Love it. Look at that realistic Voltron. <laughs> awesome. All right, where is this other page? I want at least one more. It should be. Scroll to, oh, I love this. It's like that. It reminds me of the um, zombie from which one was it? Night, one of the Night of the Living Dead, or not? Uh, it's you probably, probably know the one I'm talking about. Return of the Living Dead. The tar Return of the Living Dead. There we go. Tar, yeah. Coming out awesome. of the La Brea tar pits. Yeah. What a <laughs> was that based on that, or or did yeah. you just kind of yeah? yeah. No, it was. So you got Krampus. Yeah. Old man. Where's Krampus at? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's so creepy. Cutting off Santa Claus's face. I like that design of Santa. In, the, in that movie, he was wearing, like, Santa's face. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> so I must have missed that. I like that movie. I thought I really yeah, liked it. it. There's Tusk, yeah. Good old Good stuff. Ooh, you even got, like, the flippers. Well, uh... <laughs> Freddy. Freddy, my very first horror movie when I was four years old. It's good that for me. before or after he killed the sheep? <laughs> Must have been after he got caught. Mm -hmm. Why am I not seeing any? Oh, here we go. Yay. Okay, here's some more pages. This is from that Weird Al book that I was showing you a minute ago. And just... Awesome. Oh, from the song uh, Mr. Popeil, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, again, great, great lighting, dude. It's, it was all his, it was just word for word his lyrics of every song. We just, yeah. we got to sign songs and then could pretty much do it's whatever so we wanted. Like, there was no guidelines of how to do it. Like, we just, like, yeah. <laughs> and he just approved it. Just loved it right off the bat. That's what I think is cool, too, because I know he was like personally involved in, in mm -hmm. it. And, and approved your artwork and stuff. So yeah. it's just so cool to think like he loved it. You know, he loves it. He probably has looked at it a bunch, you know. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine if somebody made a comic about me, I'd probably be like, this is amazing. <laughs> you know. I love how you did the uh the balloons here with the color. Mm -hmm. Really good. Here's another one. Awesome. I love the color you used. <laughs> I was uh full blown yeah, the, color. the whole time I was working on the Oh, oh, right. I was through that time, wasn't it? Just hold away in my house for 10 days working on this. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. Okay, so now so is the... Say? I, like, what did he say? Did he talk to you and, like, tell you, um, you know, what he it, thought? My, the editor that was putting it together was just the middle, like, showing him the stuff. And he just mm -hmm. said he liked, liked it and... Uh, he didn't have anything to change. So I just, yeah, he seemed to like it. Yeah, he must have. I mean, yeah, didn't have a thing to say other than approved. <laughs> that's that's a good sign. <laughs> that's great. But yeah, like like she was saying, the coloring on this. I remember we were kind of talking mm -hmm. about how you were going to color it at the time, mm -hmm. and you were wanting to get a certain look, and you just absolutely nailed it. Like the colors that you picked for it, just having like this pink and the yellow and the blue, like just it all works so well together. <laughs> I kind of was just no, trying to look make at that. Look how awesome this is. That's so cool. 
And for anyone who doesn't know the song, you'd have to probably listen to the song to follow what's happening here. But he captured it really awesome. <laughs> it's like a. Do you remember those old commercials, the Ronco Miss Propel? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Selling the pocket fisherman and the egg, <laughs> the egg beater. Totally. Thing. Like make make me buy a garden weasel, make me buy a bamboo steamer, all those kind of weird products. Yeah. So you, it's like all of them together here at the end. <laughs> the book was all the songs that weren't like straight up parodies. They were just kind of like his own songs, like his own. Uh, oh, oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize this that. was like sort of a loose parody of like a B fifty twos. It sounded like a B fifty two song, but it wasn't a parody of any particular song. So he, oh, that whole book was just all, all those that weren't parodies. Cool. That's interesting. I didn't realize that they, it, they did that specifically. Yeah, the tour he was on, he was doing all that. All the, like, I don't even know what you call his original songs. Like, did you yeah. ever hear that song, Dare to be Stupid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that oh, one, I guess that would be. Yeah. That one was kind of like a Devo sounding song, but it was, mm -hmm. but it was right. his original thing. So that's funny. I never really caught that, that, that he had. <laughs> parody songs but then he also had non-parody songs mm -hmm. i still need to watch the movie like it was good I, I, you should watch yeah? That. yeah and that's um is it daniel radcliffe playing yeah it? that's cool yeah honey uh daniel radcliffe harry potter playing weird al Ooh. it's on roku it's free it's free do you have the roku channel watch maybe okay. there's I mean, so many things it's, now it's totally free you don't you won't you don't have to pay for it you can watch All right. it I definitely want to watch that. Daniel Radcliffe. Good old Daniel Radcliffe. It was actually, I, lo I love all the... What's that? It was actually funny. Like, a, It's kind of a parody of his life. <laughs> oh, it's really? Not like, like, it's not like... A, yeah. It's not like an actual biography. It's like his version of what... <laughs> so Daniel Radcliffe. Cool. It's pretty good. Yeah, we got to watch that. It'll be a lot of fun. All righty, that's Brent Engstrom, the great, the prolific Brent Engstrom. Thank you for joining us so tonight. Prolific. I think Renee and I are getting pretty tired. We should probably wrap this up. We don't normally oh. stay up quite this late, <laughs> but we had to do our quick 30 minute video. Like three hours. Well, yeah, this is a tomorrow. Will be fun. What's that? This we is so hit. fun. <laughs> well, all right. That was the stream. It was meant to be 30 minutes of us reviewing some art, but we were catching up with our friend. And 30 minutes cool times stuff. four. That's all yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Number five. Exactly. So everybody make sure you subscribe and like and all those things. Go find Brent and stalk him in real life. Uh, or on socials. Maybe not in real life. Not in real life. Uh, and uh, we will be doing some more of these streams. Send your art into the email. It's newquestcomics at gmail.com. Um, and uh, that's about it. Let's wrap up the stream. Good night, everybody. I guess we'll let Brent go now. I guess Goodbye. you're free now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll end broadcast, so maybe we'll, we'll say yeah. good night personally as well. So bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good night.